Savannah. Thanks for joining us on the news at 530. I'm Sam Bauman. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson doubling down today on his plans to introduce a city ordinance, fining gun owners for not properly securing firearms in their cars. WTOC's Flynn Snyder is live outside of City Hall with more on the new effort aimed at cracking down on gun violence. Yes, Sam, with this was a proposal that we first told you about last week. Now, today we're learning more about what this ordinance could mean for city gun owners. Again, it all comes amid a rise in shootings in Savannah this summer. Savannah Mayor Van Johnson holding firm on his effort to curb illegally obtained guns in the city. It is my intention uh, to uh, introduce an ordinance for the city of Savannah. Uh, and we're not going to wait for the state. We're going to do what's right for Savannah. According to the mayor, that ordinance would require guns to be securely stored and not visible when unattended in cars. It would also require gun owners to report a theft or loss of a firearm within 24 hours. We believe individual gun owners should not leave their guns in cars. If you're out and you're all over the place and you can't bring your gun into any place, then the gun is not helping you being in the car. As of August 19th, city data shows 189 guns have been stolen in Savannah so far this year. 156 of those guns were from unlocked cars. You're, you're sitting here, you have a deadly weapon, and you have a sign on me saying, steal me, because that's basically what you're doing. Lead instructor at Thunderbolt Firearms Training Dick Berman agrees that all guns left in cars should be securely stored in a lockbox but is skeptical how effective the new ordinance could be. If, if you don't lock your car up, uh, it's, it's, it's irresponsible behavior, and I don't know how you can correct that by finding somebody after the fact. It's still not going to stop the people that uh, are irresponsible. Still, the mayor remains confident the new penalties will curb gun violence. The opportunity decreases, the thefts decrease, the illegal firearms decrease, the shootings also, we believe, will decrease as well. Yeah, I checked back in with city staff today who tell me that the ordinance has not yet been written. Mayor Johnson has said that he plans to introduce that ordinance in the next 30 days. Reporting in Savannah, Flint Snyder, WTOC News.